Hey everybody, Jeff Schneider here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make any chord progression sound jazzier. Even the most basic chord progressions that you hear all the time, we're gonna get some spice in there, we're gonna make them sound fancier, we're gonna dress them up. So let's get started with a very basic chord progression. You've heard this one before. Let's break that down real quick. We're in C major, so we have a C major chord to begin with. That's the one chord. Going to G major, that's the five chord. A minor is the six chord, and then F is the four chord. So the way we're going to make these, or this chord progression, just sound a lot better is by adding what's called secondary dominant chords. So what's a secondary dominant chord? This is an important term. First, we have to learn what a dominant chord is. What does that mean? Um, and in order to explain that, we have to talk about what tonic means. So you have what's called a tonic and dominant relationship. Let's say we're in the key of C. We would call C the tonic. Whatever the key center is, whatever the one chord is, that's the tonic, okay? So C major is the tonic, and then the dominant chord is the five of that tonic. So the five of C is, well, let's count up the scale. C is one, D is two, E is three, F is four, and then G is five. So G is the dominant. Now, what chord do we get when we build a chord off of that G, off of that five? We get a G dominant seven chord. So that's why it's called G dominant seven. That's why you, that's where the dominant comes from in, in the term dominant seven chord. So a secondary dominant chord is going to be what I like to call a temporary five chord, a temporary dominant. So for instance, if we are going from C to G, what would the five of G be? That's basically all a secondary dominant is. It's the five of whatever chord that you're going to. So if we're going to a G major, what would the five be of G major? Let's say G is the, the temporary tonic. So G is one, A is two, B is three, C is four, and D is five. So D is going to be the secondary dominant. But we're not gonna stay in the key of C major here. And by that I mean we're not going to play a D minor chord because F is not in the key of G. We're going to the key of G, so we have to stay in the key, in the key signature of G. So we have an F sharp. So we have a D dominant seventh chord. That's the secondary dominant of G. So here it is, first the basic form, C going to G. And now I'm gonna add the secondary dominant of G, which is D7, in between these two chords. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's keep going. This time I want you to tell me what the secondary dominant chord is of our next chord. And remember, we're going from C, G, to A minor. So A minor is our next chord. What is the secondary dominant of A minor? Or rather, what is the dominant of A minor? A is one, B is two, C is three, D is four, and E is five. So we have an E7 chord. And you should know that the secondary dominant chord is, is always going to be a dominant seventh chord. So you don't have to worry about the chord quality too much. You automatically know it's going to be a dominant seventh chord, but it helps to kind of break it down and, and, and figure out why that is and, and what the notes are in that, in that chord. Anyway, we're going to A minor. So what's the five of A minor? One, two, three, four, five. E, so we have an E seven chord coming before that A minor. You can also add extensions to these dominant seventh chords, and better yet, altered extensions. And by that I mean, let's say you have that E7 chord. You can make it an E7 flat nine chord and get an even more jazzy like sound. And then when we, when we go to the A minor, we can make that an A minor seven. So now we're doing two things to make the chord progression sound even more jazzy. We're adding the secondary dominant chords as passing chords, but we're also adding some sevens onto some of the other chords in this progression. For instance, instead of just going to A minor, we're going to A minor seven. That G right there is the seven. So let's regroup here. We've got the C going to the D seven, and then we're gonna go to the G, and then we're gonna go to this E7 flat nine, and then we're gonna go to A minor seven, 
Now, what was the next chord? Do you remember? We had, in the original progression, we had C, G, A minor, F. So F is our next chord, which is also known as the four chord. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about with the numbers, then check out the video up above or down below. Okay, let's, uh, let's figure out what the secondary dominant chord is of F. So let's go up five notes, the F major scale. One, two, three, four, five. C is the dominant chord, so we have a C7. And again, we can make this a flat nine. That's gonna sound even better. That's gonna sound like this. C7 flat nine, going to F major, and I'm adding the seven again just to make it even better. Alrighty, let's do the whole thing. C major, going to D7, going to G, going to E7 flat nine, going to A minor seven, and then going to C7 flat nine, to F major seven. Okay guys, I'm gonna play the chord progression for you now without talking so you can hear it clearly. I'm gonna do it twice, the first time without any secondary dominance, and then I'll add them in. Okay, here we go. Three, four. Okay, a lot of possibilities here. And you don't have to do this for every chord. You can do it for just you know one of them. Let's say we only wanna to go to the A minor with a secondary dominant. That sounds like this. Or maybe we just wanna use a secondary dominant going to the four chord. That's what this sounds like. It's uh, not a huge difference, but it does add a nice amount of dressing for your chord progressions. So guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you have questions, you're welcome to ask. And if you have any chord progressions that you come up with that you wanna share with uh, the community down there, definitely do so. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.